I was looking how to solve the fact that only half of my face gets illuminated. Perfect. Now all of my face gets illuminated. I, li I like the eyelashes. Uh, you see, like my eyelashes look. Do you, do you like one thing? Well, what if you had more of that thing? That's what I'm talking about. It's one of those. It's one of those things I don't get. Like people like the first two albums, but when the third album gives them more of that thing, they say no. So today I'm going to tell you the truth. Why Be Here Now by Oasis is actually a masterpiece. Really, hear me out. With Be Here Now, they move to be just a simple, more modern version of the Beatles, more shoegazy, more a beat or whatnot, and they became a recognizable beast that cannot be contained. You know, here the songs are longer than air. The songs are longer than air. It's just like... It's just like disintegration. It's just like disintegration. You like disintegration? Why not this album? Ah! Uh, thanks to the creative spirit of the songwriters that most songs are longer than five minutes and they make them sound like symphonic long pieces played through a shitty cheap megaphone. You, you, you pushed all the passion like... Like that. To, to the megaphone, I mean. Sometimes I need a song to really confirm it, you know? And I will do whatever is possible to not break my bag, to make it last as long as I can. Most of the times what you do, you just repeat the song, you, you, you know? But you know, you know that it's not the same repeating the song. Repeating a song carries its consequences in our body recognition seeking brains. And there is only so many neurons you can make with a song until it starts to go numb. So the best, most ideal, most proficient option is to make a song go as long as possible. No? And that's what I'm saying me here now is. The songs are absolute monsters that you just will continue forever and ever. And they, 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 they won't stop until you feel completely satisfied. And you know what is funnier? What is fun? Funnier? Funny? What is funny is that they could go even longer. What if, what if we made them repeat for 10, 20 minutes, like most well-known drum pieces? What if we slow the process until we reach the bridge of the song around the 35-minute mark? Let's see what's a minimalist piece. Or, 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 or just, just not use the bridge at all. Do you imagine a pop song that lasts an hour? You see? You see what I'm talking about? In Be Here Now, the song's climax at the four minute, and then they clip climaxing for five minutes straight. And even then, and even then, and even then, they're still pop songs with all that stuff that comes with pop fanfare, the catchy lyrics, the happy rhythm is on the verge of being bigger than life itself. And you know, here we still have all the elements that make Oasis, Oasis, the noisy, almost showcase sound, but here is so abrasive, so abrasive, and you feel showered in a rain of sound. And as if the rages of the news half just pulses the band or something. And that's why I'm saying be here now is an odd to excess. Not not just in song, but also in sound. And you know, I actually like Liam's voice. You know what I mean? Uh, I like nasal voices a lot. I like um, the Smashing Pumpkins and like Daddy. I like those. There is something I can agree with is that the flow of the album is not the best for me, at least. You start with these two two fant uplifted songs, the first two songs, and then we go to the third track, Magic Pack, which is kind of nostalgic and wistful. It feels more like an empty song that you will put on the end of the album rather than the beginning. So, so, so it's, it's, an it's an strategy that most albums follow. You get similar tracks at the end of a recording instead of all the same tracks in a bunch, so it feels more buried around. It, it, actually, it actually works a lot. It actually works a lot. It helps, but sometimes I like to keep all the tracks that are similar in structure and mood to, to make them flow together like they are a suite. Like, like so they blend it together little by little so the album feels like a suite and, and so in this album in this album if you put all the tracks like that like that like a suite it feels like a big huge suite a note to 
everything. <laughs> Be Here Now is an album that I really like a lot. I like it so much that I took all the B-sides and extra songs and all that stuff and I made a two hour version of it and it's pretty damn good if you're if you're like me and sometimes you have to eat more and more and more and more and try to fill that bottomless barrel there is your stomach listen to it it's, it's pretty good actually for this record I wanted to give the writer peony 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 you know the flower peony well I'm going to rate it peony that's it. So I hope that you uh, listen to it. Listen to it on a sunny day because in a sunny day the record is great. I hope that you listen to it. Listen to it and that's it. Goodbye, my beautiful souls. Stacy.